I think one thing we've seen out of our guys is you've seen the same work ethic that got us to that point. And, and you know, I think that's the whole key. I, I don't think anybody walked away from the Sweet 16 going, well, that was that was fun, let's, let's just relax now. I think what you saw was a group of guys that were even more hungry and, and wanted, to, wanted to go get more. And so I, I think we've seen a lot of progress out of a lot of different guys. Well, I think it, it was great. I, I think especially for the new young guys. I, I think you you got the opportunity to teach them the difference between high school and, and, and Division One basketball and the work ethic, the time involved, the academics. It, it was a great introduction. We've always been able to do the academic side of it, but now we were able to gradually introduce to those young guys the difference in this level and so I, I think it's one of the best rules they've they've changed and and it's only going to benefit kids down the road well I, I think you know it's become a year-round thing I, I think from the recruiting to the coaching to everything that's involved in the programs it, it used to be you felt like there was a time in the summer where it kind of stopped for coaches for players, for everyone involved. Now it's 12 months a year, and, and whether it's the recruiting, the coaching, uh, the marketing, everything that goes into a program is now year-round. Well, I, I think the personality is one that is a hungry personality. I, there's no question they want more, and and they want to finish higher in the Big Ten. They they want to make a deeper run in the NCAA tournament, and and so it's truly driven within them. And and when you have that, then you have the opportunity to do those kind of things down the road. Well, it's it's a league you see very little turnover in coaching, and and one because you you've got very good coaches in place, and and so I think when you have that stability, then even when a program's a, maybe having a downtime, they still stay so competitive because the coaches know the league, and you know we're looking at a year where you could have eight, nine teams be in the top twenty-five, and 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 that will probably be a first for this league in a while. Well, I, I think the fact that they can get in here 24 hours a day, and to some people that sounds a little, you know, well, they're not in there 24 hours a day. But I, I think the fact that when they're done studying at 9 o'clock at night, if they want to come over and shoot for 30 minutes, all they've got to do is swipe their card and walk in. Uh, that's a big advantage. And, and the key is, though, you got to have guys that want to use it. And, and we've got a culture of guys that want to get in here. And so it, it's been an unbelievable place for our guys to grow and get better in. Well, it's unbelievable. I, I, I don't believe there's many in the country that are as good uh, in, in the sense of you really walk in that day feeling like you're ready to play a game. And, and the atmosphere is so unbelievable and the buzz is so unbelievable that, you know, for our guys, it really does kick it off. It, it, it brings that it, it's here feeling. And so from a recruiting point of view, from our players' point of view, it really sets the tone for what we've got coming in front of us.